Get this, the U.S. locks people up at a rate almost six times higher than Spain. Six times. Wow. Crazy, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a huge difference. It is. And it got us thinking, what's Spain doing differently? So today, we're doing a deep dive into their prison system with help from Juan Leandro. He's done some really interesting research on this. Yeah, he's looked at incarceration rates around the world, and Spain definitely stands out. For sure. So according to Juan Leandro, Spain has about 113 prisoners for every 100,000 people, and that's considered low. Yeah, it is. It's important to understand what incarceration rate actually means, though. It's basically a way to compare how many people are in prison in different countries, no matter how big or small the population is. Makes sense. So you're leveling the playing field to see who's imprisoning more people proportionally. Okay, so back to the numbers. We said Spain's at 113 per 100,000, while the U.S., almost 600. It's a stark contrast, and it makes you wonder what factors are at play. When you see such a high incarceration rate, it often suggests there are deeper societal issues. Like what? Well, things like poverty, lack of education, limited job opportunities. Those can all contribute to higher crime rates in the first place. Then there's the question of how the justice system responds. Is it focused on punishment or rehabilitation? Right. Are they trying to help people turn their lives around mm -hmm. or just lock them up and throw away the key? Exactly. And it seems like Spain might be onto something with their approach. It really does make you wonder what other countries could learn from them. You know what else is interesting? Juan Leandro also talks about the Nordic countries. They're known for having a really strong social safety net. Right. Their governments provide a lot of support for their citizens, things like health care, education, and social services. And guess what? Their incarceration rates are some of the lowest in the world, around 54 per 100,000. So it makes you think, maybe there's a connection there. It's tempting to draw a straight line and say, see more social support, less crime, but it's more complex than that. There are so many factors that influence incarceration rates. Like what? Well, you have to consider things like the legal system in each country, their sentencing guidelines, how they approach drug offenses, all those things play a role. So it's not a simple answer, but it's definitely something to think about. Definitely. And you know, it's not just about keeping people out of prison, but also about how they're treated while they're inside. 100%. And that's another area where Spain kind of surprised us. Yeah. Juan Leandro mentions that their prisons are actually known for being pretty decent, especially compared to a lot of other places. That's right. They seem to have a better handle on issues like overcrowding. Which is huge. Because those kinds of conditions can make everything worse. Absolutely. And it's not just about basic living conditions either. Spain seems to understand that if you provide opportunities for education, job training, and rehabilitation programs... It can actually help break the cycle of reoffending. Right. Give people the tools they need to build a better life when they get out. Okay, so we've talked about how Spain has a relatively low incarceration rate. And their prisons are considered to be more humane. But it's important to remember that no system is perfect. Of course not. And Juan Leandro acknowledges that. He points out that even within Spain, there are inconsistencies. So some prisons might be better than others? Yeah, and there are still challenges with things like prisoner isolation, yeah. limited access to mental health care, those sorts of things. Right. It's a work in progress. Always. So Spain might not have all the answers, but they're doing something right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's fascinating to see how their approach compares to other parts of the world, it really highlights how different things can be. For sure. I mean, Juan Leandro mentions countries like El Salvador, where gang violence and political instability have led to incredibly high incarceration rates. And then you have places like Russia with its history of authoritarianism. Or Brazil and Mexico, both grappling with poverty and corruption. It just goes to show there's no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to criminal justice. Absolutely not. It's about understanding the complex web of social, economic, and political factors at play in each country. It's a lot to unpack. It really is. But I think the key takeaway here is that Spain's approach, while not without its flaws, offers a different perspective. Right. And maybe, just maybe, there are some valuable lessons other countries can learn from their experience. Exactly. So here's something to think about. If Spain can achieve both a low incarceration rate and more humane prison conditions, what would it take for other countries to follow suit? And what can we do to create safer, more just societies that prioritize rehabilitation and give people a real chance to turn their lives around? Those are the questions we need to be asking. Absolutely. Well said.